Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you what the difference between free Slack and total Slack is. So on the screen, I've got the table, if you look at this, schedule table already on the screen. Normally it would be on the entry table and these are the columns that you would see. So I've gone to the view tab and I've gone to tables and I've selected schedule just to show you these two columns. Now, obviously, you can just add these columns to any table anyhow, but there they are in the schedule table. So what I'm going to do is create a couple of tasks, or three, three tasks, task A, task B, and task C to start with. And then what I'll do is I've added the duration column there. You see that if I go back to entry, you would normally have the duration there. I'm going to put these to one, two, and one. Uh, I'm going to link them together like so. Just go in there and just click on the chain link. It's not something I normally do, but I'll do it for this. So you can see the link there. Now, if I go back to that schedule table, schedule, I've actually added the duration column in there. So that is not normally there. So you just basically right click and insert column, or you can click at the end, add column, and just select duration. So you can see that. You don't have to do that, but it's just nice to see for this little example. So at the moment, it says free slack zero, total slack zero. So what is that all about? Well, free slack is basically how many days or what time period is there between this task, task A, affecting task B, so banging into task B. Total slack is how many days uh, does this task have before it affects the end of the project? And because these are all linked together, as you can see there, it's zero, 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 zero. Now, if I create another task, task D, and I get this to start. So at the minute, it's starting today, look. And it's got three days free slack and three days total slack. If I put the duration in as one day, so it's no question marks, you'll see that. It's not an estimated duration. So that is now telling you that that's got three days before that will affect anything else. And before it affects another task and vice versa with that one, or the same with that one. However, if I change the start date of this to say the 6th, you see the figures coming in on the other ones. So now we've got an 11 day on task C, free slack. So task C, this one has got 11 days before it affects another task. And it's the same for the end of the project. And so of these two, these has got no slack, free slack, because these are linked to these. That one is linked. Task A is linked with task B. So it's a predecessor to task B. So if that moves, this would have to move. There's no, there's no slack in between those two. So that's basically what it is. And if I take the links off, if I go back into just the entry table just to get rid of these links for now, and then go back to the schedule table, you can see the things have changed slightly now because nothing's restricted by links. So we've got different amounts of slack, free slack and total slack. And then if you start moving some of these tasks, so if I move that one forward a couple of periods, it's affecting the free slack and the total slack. But as soon as I link things together again, that will reduce this. So that's basically all I want to talk about in this little video, what the difference is between free slack and total slack and how you can see it on your schedule. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.